How long did it take you to... How long did it take you to pass? Um, see, it's an awkward question because, like, it took me six months, but when mm. people got old... Oh. Alfie! <laughs> you be quiet, please! <laughs> yeah, carry on. No, it's... <laughs> carry on. Um... <laughs> No, stop it! <laughs> We're trying to have a conversation. This is a serious podcast. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Carry on. Yeah, it's proper serious talking about ear rape. Yeah, ear rape, yeah. <laughs> no, um... We're not going back to ear rape. Yeah, we're not going back to ear rape. <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Being Sarcastic podcast. I'm here with Ross Carhill, or is it Cahill? It's either or, man. I either don't. or. <laughs> I don't pre- mind. But which one do you prefer? Um, I prefer Carhill, but I answer to worse. <laughs> what do you mean you answer to worse? I mean, no, I answer when people go like, wait, bend up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, 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 that's true. If someone says Cahill, then I'm not going to hold a grudge. No, no, but surely you get a bit annoyed when people say your name wrong there. That's a bit annoying. Uh, right? Yeah, but it's not like... They're, they're technically not saying it wrong, do you know what I mean? Yeah, that, like, yeah, that's just true. Where does it come from? It's Ireland. Anyway, I don't think anyone cares. Yeah, no, um, one, cares. Right. no one cares. <laughs> we we right. can't just shit can the podcast after like five yeah. seconds. Oh, wait, yeah. am I allowed to swear? No! <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Am I not? No, not, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter, I don't care. 30 seconds in. Yeah, 30 seconds in and you've already swore. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, happens to the best of us, Yeah. Man. So you are the second person that's being filmed, and actually yeah. the first... Boy or, wow. or man, man, man. You're yeah, a, man. I'm a man now. You're a man. I'm a man. You've got no. a tattoo yeah, but, but, and man things. As he's got it out. You see, he's got his arm there. You know, just showing it off a bit. You are abusive. Yeah, abusive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. Is. Yeah, no, I like it because it means it, it does mean that you're a bit more of a bit more of a bloke. <laughs> well, what are the geezers? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You go to the pub. I no. mean, what's what's the point? You were saying earlier, weren't you? What's the point? From when someone changes to yeah, a... because this is my thing. It's like so, so many people like say they talk about you. They go, mm. oh, you know that Ellis, he's a nice lad, isn't yeah, he? Thanks. But at what point would you stop being Ellis, who's a nice lad, and be yeah, Ellis, he's a nice bloke, isn't he? Do you I know don't, I, mean? like, I don't think anyone will ever say that. I don't think I'll ever be a bloke. <laughs> I think I'll always be Ellis. He's a nice lad, yeah. Nice lad. No, but what you can't be like one 40. that gets on with the mums. <laughs> not not gets on. Yeah, you know what I mean? Not gets on with the mums. Yeah. No, um, keep it PG. No, <laughs> we're, we're, no, what we'll you quit? But like, surely you can't be forty and still be like a nice lad. Do you know what I mean? Surely, no, maybe. Like, I think I think point. when I hit forty, maybe then I'll be a bloke. A bloke. Yeah. I'm but happy being a lad now. Yeah, but it's my thing. It's like, I well, suppose. I'm not eighteen yet, so I'm I'm not. Am I a man? I'm not a man. No, yeah, but then You're a man. No, but I wouldn't say I'm a man. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can vote, You'll but never I be a man, man, Russ. Wow. Well. You'll never be a real man. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> cheers, cheers, mate. No, but you've got a tattoo. Like, you go to the pub. You you go to the pub what? Yeah. Hmm, not as much as I used every, to, but like... Every week? Every weekend, definitely. Yeah, exactly. But like, yeah, but What then, do you like about the pub so much? The atmosphere, man. And the beer. But like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, no, nah, it's... <laughs> Yeah, I just I just like the vibe. Do you know what I mean? It's really? Just, do you I not thought, prefer it? Do you prefer it over like? Would you rather go to a club or a pub? Um, it depends because like cl- clubs that you can't just go to a club for a quiet one. Do you know what I mean? If you're going to don't break the set. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but no, what's it called? Um, no, but it's like you can't just go to the club just like casually. Just like oh yeah, do you want to go to the club? Yeah, d- d-, but like. But uh, with the pub, it's just one of them. You should be talking to someone. You should want someone to do just pub, pub. I suppose, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just, and you don't actually, because for me, I've not quite mastered the art of like going out, out, but not getting slaughtered. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean, it's like if I've we, heard. Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's not talk about them once. Yeah, no. But no, it's like um. But you prefer the pub, don't you? Yeah, I, t- I can understand I like why like the pub, but I just think they have both got their place. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather have people round. And kind of have some drinks at someone's house, other than at the pub. See a lot of it for me. I it's just, like because I live next to a pub, and a yeah. few times you guys have asked me, like, "Oh, do you want to come round?" I think I'm not gonna buy a beer More literally next door, next door for like four quid yeah. when I could have a beer. The one next door to you is expensive, though. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's more than most. And the thing, like with um the one in town, it's because my area I just think yeah, is very, you know, very, just very, upper class and we're just very expensive. No, you know, they, we've got expensive taste. <laughs> no, they just fleece people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's like because the one in town as well. Well, you can get like a loyalty card and then that brings it down it's like 80p cheaper for a pint which don't sound like that much no that's that's all right but if yeah. you have like three pints well what you consider what if you went three times a week so what if you went friday saturday if you're an alcoholic <laughs> no but like if no, three times a week ain't that much yeah so you went three times a week and you had like 
two beers each time. Mm. Boom, there's six beers. And 80p times six. Can you stop is... slamming the table, yeah? Because it's messing <laughs> sorry, up the microphones. Sorry, I've sorry, said that already. Sorry, yeah. I'll, I'll slam my You're time. just there like, I think if you go three <laughs> times a week... Right. <laughs> right. Back on topic. Back on topic. Yeah. yeah back on topic. You're a man, I'm yeah, not. Yeah. That's what we've covered. Is that, what, is that yeah, what we were That's on? what we've covered. That's what we've, no, I wouldn't say that I'm a man, though. I wouldn't say but you've that. got a tattoo. That means you're a man. That means yeah, your classification. But... Does that count as ID? Well, I thought so, yeah. But I got into an argument with a bouncer once. Mm. Because um, Cause I, you're a man. Because I'm a man, yeah. <laughs> Um, but no, we were, um, I was at West Ham, and you remember Connor, don't you? Connor Allison. Which one you don't remember? Of course, course you know Connor, Connor yeah. Um, but we who's were. Who's Connor? <laughs> Connor? Who's Connor? But yeah, no, we was at West Ham, and we was walking in, we was going into the, like, and it was a home pub as well, like, it was all West Ham fans, didn't think they'd give a, didn't think they'd care. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what's it called? And this bouncer, and it was, they were both absolutely massive, but it was mm. this big black guy and this big white guy. But you understand mm. what I mean when I say this? For some reason, the white guy spoke more like he was black than the black guy. It yeah. was it was so strange, but because um, the black guy was really nicely spoken. Yeah. But like, the, no, this other guy, he, and he was not a very nice person. Right, okay. And, uh, we went to walk in because uh, we just come back from like the outside bit because I was having a burger. Mm. And as we walked, because you're a to, man, <laughs> like burgers. Yeah, it was a double burger as well. Oh, it was, was it with burger. bacon? Yeah. Oh man, they didn't have bacon. I should right. Have yeah, carry on. Yeah, no. But, but we were walking back in, and they went, "Oh, have you got ID?" I went, "Well, not being funny, mate. We've just been in the garden. They serve beer there." And he goes, "Yeah, but you need, but you need to have ID." Wait, ID for what? To, just to go in. Go into where? The pub. Even though we oh, just right, come sorry, to the I garden, thought you meant into I mean, the. Oh, you. This is after the match. Sorry. No, before the match. Oh, right. I'm thinking you're actually in the stadium. Though. Oh, no, no, no. no, no. We're, yeah, like, sorry. We're actually, like, like, at the pub. I'm a bit slow. Like, <laughs> it's all right, mate. But no, we was walking in, and he goes, oh, you got any ID? And it's quite You a don't need day. ID to be in a pub, do you? I've been in well, a pub. That's what I didn't... Because I'm, I'm a man. Because I'm a man. <laughs> Something to stop. But no, um, what's it called? But he goes, uh, no, uh, you need ID just to go in. I'll just come from the garden. He goes, um, and this is the thing. I had ID, but I just couldn't be bothered to reach into my pocket. <laughs> And he just goes, no, but it was the principle of it, do you know what I mean? Mm. So, so I went, well, I'm not being funny, mate. Look at that. He goes, that don't mean shit, bro. <laughs> I could have gone abroad and got there when mum was 16. Yeah, because you can, you like, can get him abroad, though. <laughs> yeah, you can get him abroad. Because my my mum said, yeah, when, um, you might already know this story, but when um, when England won... Is this the World Cup story? Yeah, 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 if, yeah, yeah. If, if England won the World Cup in, in 2018, I was 2018, allowed to get yeah. England 2018 written very small, uh, like, somewhere. Would you um, have? I, yeah, I would have. Yeah, because yeah, I could have got it done in Spain. But could've I thought done. I could have got it done in Spain. <laughs> yeah. So where, I. Yeah. Where would you have got it? Would you have gone wrist? Mm, I don't know. I probably got it. Maybe. I don't know. See, I don't, I don't I, know. I, I didn't think that far. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't get that far. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, I, I'd have gone with um. If I was just getting that, I'd have gone with somewhere. This will sound obscure, mm. but I would have either gone like. Under the collarbone, right? But got like twenty eighteen Roman numerals. Yeah, but I'm like, already I'm getting hit. Roman numerals there. Oh, are you? Yeah. Yeah, just said it. Beautiful. Um, yeah, because people always say um, it's a bit risky getting it when you're first time eating. <laughs> yeah, um, and you've got a big one. Yeah, I know. It weren't actually meant to be this big. No, your mum wasn't happy, was she? No, she weren't. Because <laughs> I, I give the guy one design and went, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he and changed obviously, it. I thought it was sick, but mm. looking back, it was actually. Quite bad. Quite bad. Did and you I, come up with the design yourself? Not this. No, but, but the other one I did. Yeah. Really. The other one I just wanted like a little wristband <laughs> with like. And he come back and like. Yeah. No, 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 no wristband. I think the whole <laughs> arm. <laughs> yeah, he tried to give me a sleeve. I, I don't know why I made him <laughs> Italian or. <laughs> <laughs> Working in the call centre. Yeah, exactly. No, he, no, he, um, no. But I literally walked in and he goes, "Yeah, with yours." Um, <laughs> Kind of changed it all. Oh, I sat the table again. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I was literally about to say, you keep whacking <laughs> no, the table. Actually, um, yeah, right. With yours, mm-hmm. I've changed your whole design. Right. I went, right. right. And and this, goes, was, this was on the day that on you're the getting day your tattoo. It, yeah. right. on the da- and bear in mind, at this point, all I've got is a little bit of writing on my ribs. Mm. Easily concealable. Yeah. This is the one where it's potentially going to ruin job prospects. Yeah. And he said that. And then, this is what happens. He then goes... I'm just finishing up with another client, so <laughs> I'll get back to you. He went away for 45 minutes, Jeez. and all he'd left me with was, I've changed the whole design, and then just went. But you could have easily just said, like, oh, no, I want mine. Yeah, that, that, that was my thing. It weren't, it weren't an issue to the point where it was this or nothing now. No, exactly. Like, yeah. I could have said, And no, you I liked it, didn't mine. you? And I, think, and I think you made the right decision. As soon as I, as soon as I saw it, I, was, I just fell in love with it. Yeah, exactly. Thought, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Enough. And, and did, you, did you have that initial quote on the original one? Yeah, what yeah. it initially was, it was the wristband, then it adds the Amers there, 
the two little music symbols which are in the roses the on roses. the inside, and then the quote just kind of as one. Why? Why rose? Why not any other flower? I don't know. Do you just like a rose. <laughs> Fair enough. I he thought done. you were going to give me some sort of no, really, you know, powerful meaning he, there. He done it. Right. No, I can. I can make meaning out of it. Like, okay. Wait, wait, do, what? do what you do. You do what that someone does with R and be like the rose symbolizes. Right. So um, here's the logic with it. So the logic behind it is where he split up the quote. Right. Where he's got, there must never be silence, and that's on the dove, which kind of represents my dad and everything. Okay. So that's one bit, so that's nice and deep. Mm-hmm. But then he's got the bit about music here. He's got that next to the rose. In the roses, the two symbols which represent music artists I like are right. hidden in the roses. And they say that roses are like a form of art. Have you just made that up on the spot? No, I have actually. Good, no, I thought about this when he was doing it, and I thought, well, when people say, what does it mean? Mm. If I think they're going to judge me when I say I just think the roses look good, <laughs> yeah. I need to come up with some meaning. And then the the initial yeah. one I thought of was, well, the rose is the flower of England, but that sounds a bit Brexit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> so, no, yeah. I like that, that's cool. Because yeah, you've got to be patriotic. I feel like yeah. people now like get annoyed when people are like yeah, patriotic. I think I, th- I think people have ruined it. Like if I say I like England, it's like oh, racist. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, but to be honest, though, I think the problem, a lot of the problem, is like people that are genuinely racist <laughs> yeah, say, also gone, say that. Well, I'm not racist. I'm just patriotic. <laughs> yeah. So and, now, and then the people that are patriotic say I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not ready, yeah. but it's kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know now, exactly yeah, what you like, mean, yeah. No, if you've got like an England flag in your bedroom, people just think, yeah, you voted Leave. You like Nigel Farage? Yeah, right? exactly. Do you know what I mean, it's one of those you, you, Have you got an England flag on your car? Have you not? On not? my personalized number plate, I do. Oh, sorry, just just chucking it out there. I've got a personalized number plate. <laughs> I've got a personalized number plate. I actually know your number plate off by heart. Yeah, go on. Uh, w H. Ross, do you remember driving? Do you remember, like, learning to drive? Yeah, I remember learning to drive. I don't... Yeah, it's a bit of a scary time, <clears> isn't it? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? How yeah. long did it take you to... How long did it take you to ask? Um, see, it's an awkward question, because, like, it took me six months, but... Mm. When people go, oh... Alfie! <laughs> you be quiet, please! <laughs> yeah, carry on. No, it's... <laughs> carry on. Um... <laughs> No, stop it! <laughs> We're trying to have a conversation. This is a serious podcast. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Carry on. Yeah, it's proper serious talk about ear rape. Yeah, ear rape, yeah. <laughs> no, um... We're not going back to ear rape. Yeah, we're not going back to ear rape. <laughs> but no, um, I remember... It, it, it's awkward because people go like, oh, how many hours? Well, I don't remember because my mm. instructor, he did it in like... You pay for blocks of 10 hours. But then, really? But then it was like my first... 10 lessons were only an hour long it was just how he yeah, yeah, taught yeah. she was like see I had an hour long first that my right. first lesson was an hour and then from then on I had two you yeah, know see I lessons. went m- mine was mental because I can't be bothered to do the maths when people ask because I had like <laughs> I did no nah, but this is the thing it was um, I did one block of 10 hours as one hour lessons mm. then I did two blocks of 10 hours so that's so 20 I've, I've already lost yeah I've already ex- lost. exactly so i did like 10 hours hour long lessons did you have a car before you yeah started I, had, driving? I had a car before i was 17 so, so you're doing yeah same Every, yeah. everyone gets so annoyed by that everyone like what's the point of having a car and i think who gives a shit well, yeah exactly it was about a week before i turned 17 my drone business mate yeah exactly i like the way it looks on my drive exactly because my 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 birth my christmas is five days before my birthday so i got it for christmas because obviously i was expecting yeah. to get it on my but not that i was expecting to yeah, get it yeah, no, i'm not i'm not you know like yeah but Spoiled like rich kids no i <laughs> but I'm trying to defend myself. My sister got a car. Yeah. I, I knew I was getting I a car mean, that yeah. year. I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, and I was expecting to get it on my birthday. So I got it on Christmas because it was a bit of a surprise. But people yeah. get so annoyed. Like People get well vexed by it, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do a bit. It was, it's when I got So mine. it took you about six months? About six months, yeah. But then I'm not sure how many hours. No. <clears throat> but I didn't ask how many hours did I. I said yeah, how you said how long. How yeah. long could be either or? So it's my thing, yeah. Because it, yeah, but it's one of them. If people go, oh, yeah. I passed in six months. Mm. You sound a bit B Tech. Yeah. Because they think, wow. <laughs> but actually, I only had, had, an, I only had a lesson every four months. Thing. That's the thing. It's like you pass in six months with yeah. two hours a week. That's Did you pass first cool. time? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so fully. Like Did you pass your theory first time? Yeah. yeah I, my theory, I, my claim to fame in that is I fell asleep in my theory tests and still passed. Really? Yeah, because. What, well, and then woke back up? Yeah. Or, or? My, logi- my logic for it was I. Did a lot of revision for my theory test mm. when I was on holiday. So All I'd right. be on a sun lounger on the app on my phone. I'd just be kind of like dozing on and off, mm. and then be doing a bit of theory in between. Sorry. So I was quite tired. Sorry. But no, I was quite tired when I went to do it. Mm. Um, and I- I'm convinced, like muscle memory, doing these questions. I thought I was on a sun lounger again. Yeah. So I just kind of, I've gone that. <laughs> Whoa. When lot, like, I thought sleep. I just blinked. Do you know what I mean? But I looked at the time and I'd like. 
50 minutes left. You've got plenty blinked. of time in that theory exam. Yeah, like, they really. don't need to give you that much time. No. I'm glad they did, because like yeah. I say, like, I blinked, had 50 minutes left. I opened my eyes, I had like 25. Really? So I was proper out for a yeah. while as well. My theory, I never passed until the actual exam. Really? Like on my phone, that's how, That's I wasn't bad, but I just didn't hardly just didn't do any theory. I remember on the car journey there with my mum, getting like, for, like, like, like 30% like really? literally that bad did you revise doing the actual like topics like actually reading it? I had a really good app yeah my yeah. app was good but I just didn't was use it that much proper yeah yeah, yeah 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 yes, and I remember telling one. my mum yeah, yeah yeah they're all blue though aren't they really oh, I saw one that was green <laughs> fair enough <laughs> <laughs> I remember telling my mum before I got, like before no I got out of the car for my theory test I remember telling her Bump, I'm, like, I'm really sorry. Like I should have taken this a lot more seriously. But just to let you know, I have failed. Like I've, I've done it so many times. I'm, I'm not gonna pass that. There's no way. And I remember coming back out, and I sat back in. I was like, I passed. Pass. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I boy. think I felt better passing my theory than my actual driving. Mm. Really? There's. Nah. I don't think there's any better feeling than passing that practical test. The That's the best the thing, thing with ever. My practical test as well. Did you have the same? Did you? Were you convinced you failed your practical? Yeah, so much. <clears throat> I knew I'd failed. Did you well, go I didn't Bedford? know I failed. Yeah, Bedford, yeah. yeah Bedford, yeah. And the and f- reason why I thought I'd failed is because I my in, my examiner wasn't writing anything. I, I thought I'd like... Really? I'd done something really bad at the start of yeah. the test, like I'd killed someone or something. <laughs> like I'd run over someone's <laughs> cat or... Yeah, exactly. And I thought I'd just missed it and he'd yeah. just basically just given up. But actually, I actually done quite well. You've he just didn't need well, to write yeah, anything. Yeah, exactly. Nah, so that's quite my right. My problem was I had well and justified cause for concern with mine. It, right. It was ridiculous. I... um. You know the road as you're coming out. Mm, this is gonna be tough. Yeah. You know as you're coming out of Copal. Nah. <laughs> right, right. Don't worry about that. But I was going down a road. Yeah. And you know how they'd keep telling you to um, pull up on the left and just pull away. Yeah, Just because yeah, yeah. they can. Mm. Um. Because they can. Apparently, three times I still had my left signal on when I pulled away. Um. One one of the times I drove the length of a road and probably passed the left turn as well. Still with my left signal on. And um, then you just didn't, for some reason, they were all minors. Yeah. And then I got to the end of this road, and it was like it was like a T-junction. Mm. But I was going right, and I had this massive like SUV to my left, so I couldn't see nothing that was coming that way. So my way was clear. I thought, oh, I've been sat here ages. I'm just going to take a leap of faith and go. Mm. Pulled out. There was something coming. So I just reversed back over <laughs> the line. Fair enough. And somehow that was only a minor. And then the last one, it was last roundabout. You know, according to cross roundabout. No. You don't. No. The, the roundabout right next to the test centre. The massive one. Oh, yeah, yeah, the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah with yeah. the retail park and everything. I think. No. I feel like, I yeah, just a carry round, on. I was at a roundabout and it was wham. And he goes, right, so now follow it back to the test centre. So I said, wait, I'm in the wrong lane, aren't I? He goes, just just do what you feel. I'm thinking, well, sure, I've asked you because I don't know what I was feel. Your, yeah, was your examiner a bit of a... Mine was Bit quite of an nice. Idiot. Mine was nice. I had a Portuguese guy. Did you? Yeah, and I just remember getting in the car and, and my instructor, my Barry that was with me, yeah. said um, before I went, he said he's Portuguese. Yeah. Um, and I remember thinking, Yes, fine. Because I don't know, just, you just foreign people. They're, they're a bit more sympathetic. Yeah. If you've got a Dave. I remember getting in and saying, Hola. Hola. <laughs> is that not Portuguese? If it is, then Which I'm Spanish. Myself. Um, no, no, but do, do they not have Hola? I'm sure he understood what he yeah, meant. Yeah, maybe I, I was a bit racist. Maybe, you maybe think, yeah. He maybe thought, mm. yeah, maybe this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah, but but yeah, no. Going back to what I said, I think theory, me for me personally, I found more, more I, challenging. Yeah, more. See, yeah, I think maybe. theory I kind of blagged because a lot of it for me reading it was. Quite Should I see sense. how well you know your theory? Your theory now. I didn't know it that well at the time. Um, you can give it a go. Give it a go. It just, I think this would just show, like, actually. Yeah. Show how much it actually does. Should we start a practice test and yeah, see how much on. we. We won't do it all because it takes What ages. was your hazard perception like? Um, mine was ridiculous. On mine, one of them. I quite liked it. I thought it was a little game. Yeah, edit. One of them on mine was in the middle of a motorway. A lorry just stopped and the driver just got out. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I'm thinking, who is not clicking for that? <laughs> yeah. Like, the thing is, uh, my um, the app that I had on my phone was the yeah. it had the exact same videos that it was going to show yeah, me. So, so, so yeah, it's it was right. Had, quick, quick, we're running out of time. Oh, What's sure. the main benefit of driving a four wheeled, a four wheel drive vehicle? Improved grip on the road, lower fuel consumption, shorter stopping distance, improved passenger comfort. Grip, grip, gotta be. Is it? I don't know. Don't we're not going to find out if we got it right or not. Which oh, I want to. Got spam for them. Really? Yeah. Just, There's 50 questions. Do like 10 and then just click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll yeah, go yeah, scroll yeah. down because you get... You're following... Button. No, I'll do I'll do fun ones. Fun ones, yeah, go on then. No, not that. 
Not that. You've just passed your practical... No, no, no. No. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I, I like that role play. You, <laughs> you take some cough medicine given to you by a friend. What should you do before driving? Ask your friend if taking the medicine affected their driving. <laughs> Drink some strong coffee one hour before driving. Drive a short distance to see if the medicine is affecting your driving. Check the label to see if the medicine will affect your driving. Oh, I think you've got to take have some coffee and a cigarette. I reckon so. Yeah, yeah I reckon maybe. No, I so a lot of the questions were like this, though, weren't they? Yeah, like they were quite so common sense. Yeah. Some of them I was looking at it thinking like this is actually quite insulting. They think I'll get yeah. drunk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like thinking, yeah. Just you just stand up in the exam and say sorry, but sorry, <laughs> you're taking a piss. <laughs> <laughs> you're taking a piss or what? Have I been given some beginners <laughs> test? Yeah. No, I know. It's you like a foundation GCSE maths. You know yeah. What I, mean? like, I, I well, <laughs> it's yeah, offending some offend people. A lot of people. Yeah. No, I struggled. With maths, all right. There's nothing wrong with taking foundation. No, you didn't. I did. You got a six overall, didn't you? Five. Sorry. And that, no, no. But my thing with maths was though, I worked like three hours a day on maths for a did good, you? Like, three months, and I only got five. But then mm. English, I did nothing for, and got a seven and an eight. English is one of them ones that I feel like you can't you practice for. As anyway, we're getting off topic. Yeah, we are. Um, you're driving, driving towards a yeah. zebra crossing. A person in a wheelchair. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cut out! Cut out! Cut that out! Can I start Leave again? that in. <laughs> let's start let like it. Sorry, that's going to make me sound like such a dick. You are right. such a dick. Shh, 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 shh. You're driving towards mm. a zebra crossing. A person in a wheelchair is waiting to cross. What should you do? Continue on your way. Wave the person to cross. Be prepared to stop. Wave the person to wait. Be prepared to stop. Yeah, but surely you should just stop, not be prepared. To stop. Well, yeah, that's my thing. The, the answer, whenever it was like that, I, I always found that whenever be prepared to stop was an o- option, it was mm-hmm. always the answer. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Got yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You're driving on the motorway in windy conditions. What should you do as you pass a high-sided vehicle? Increase your speed, drive alongside very closely, be wary of sud- of a sudden gust, expect normal conditions. Some be of them just, of yeah, gust. some of them are so easy. Drive at high speed. Yeah, drive, drive at high speed, just crash into the car. By the law. How should you dispose of a used vehicle battery? How do you dispose of a body? <laughs> um, bury it in your garden. <laughs> yeah, what, the body? <laughs> no, no, this is... How, how, do you, how, do, how should you dispose of a used vehicle battery? Well, you bury it in your garden, too. put it in the dustbin, leave it on wasteland, take it to a local authority site. I don't actually, actually know. I feel like it's a local authority site. site. Yeah. Dustbin, you're probably not like, allowed that'd to. That'd be like tidy tip by Sainos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Sainos. <laughs> Sainos. What does this mean? And it's... Oh, yeah. no. It's the camera come. store. Yeah, yeah. Look at it in that camera. Mm-hmm. See? No, you've still got... Oh, it's that. One. What is that? Uh, roundabout? Mini roundabout? Mini roundabout, yeah. Yeah, yeah mini roundabout, well, we, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, we can't get through all these questions yet. We just, no, no, we'll just, just assume we got 100%. Yeah, exactly. Because we, we both passed. Because we're, 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 both we're driving, legendary both. drivers. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, we're great, man. We're great. Um, Don't tell my black box that I said that because I disagree. But <laughs> Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Dude, we've actually been doing sick. <laughs> This is great. You can't say that. Blow your own tom- tr- trump- trumpet? Trumpet, Ross. Yeah, trumpet, I'm Ross. Sick. I'm si- I am conversation, man. I'm sick. It's going all right, isn't it? Did you hmm? say that's going on it? No, no, I said it's going all right, did you? Yeah, yeah. Um, cut that, cut that. Should I, <laughs> should I do the rest of the podcast down like this? Down like that? Yeah. Why do we do it like that? So, no, just me. Just you. Do you yeah, you can do. Yeah. I'm a bit confused as to why you do it. <laughs> I, don't know, just I can't cause... imagine it'd be a great angle for the chin. No, no, no that's it. true. Um, I look like Beaker from the Muppets when I do that. Yeah, I don't watch the Muppets, but, neither, I'll but just... I've, <laughs> I've just seen, I've, I've seen side by side comparisons with this geezer, and I do look like him. You do look like what? What is? What's the actor? Well, you, <laughs> me, yeah, me. Would you? You, you're an actor, aren't you? Yeah, man. Would you say you're an actor? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm no, an actor. It's yeah. my Instagram. But yeah, that means <laughs> yeah, it's true. That, yeah, it must um, be true. No, you should get a different level of actor. Of course yeah, you're an actor. Yeah, I'm an yeah, actor. Well, definitely. I've, I've done more than school Well, you've plays, done... So. I wrote it down here. I said, yeah. I, put, I put advert. Advert. What advert did you do? Mm-hmm. Curries. Yeah. And then you got mugged off by the Curries guy, didn't you? Yeah. The other day. I couldn't believe that. That is, I'd, oh, I'd have been fresh. fuming. You should have yeah. said, I've done... So, backstory I for feel the like, camera. Yeah, no one understands what's happening. Right, so... We, so we recently bought a new TV. Basically, I don't know how, but I broke my TV. 
Um, yeah. So like I broke my TV in like my bit. Mm. So then mum said, right, we'll give you the TV from the main bit, right. and we'll get a new one from the main bit. So it's like, right, okay. do, do you get what I mean? Like the living room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll give you the living room telly, not the main bit. We'll yeah. give you the living room telly for like your other bit, and then we'll get a new living room telly. Right, get so, to the point, Ross. So then we've got this telly, and we basically, because me and mum don't know what we're doing, mm. we paid to have it set up. Mm-hmm. So we paid Curry's, who we obviously bought it from to have it set up, but they mm. outsourced the work to another company, and the other company outsourced the work to another company. And they basically mugged you off, didn't they? Yeah, mugged us off, man, because he's turned up, looked at it, and gone, I'm not well, doing that. Yeah, personally. fully. He, he turned it and goes, well, where's it going? We went, well, it's going there on that stand. He goes, on a stand? Oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I went, pardon? And we went, yeah, I'm not doing that. I don't get paid enough to do that. That'll take me three hours to do that. Basically, the company that he works for find us up. I think he got sacked. Hmm. Um, they but, said, like, but you've, you've was the point of this, you've done an advert for Curry's PC. I've done a, I, so I've you done should have just, just advert, told her, told him yeah. that, you Look, know, I am, I, at one stage, I'm, I'm quite a big deal at Curry's, yeah, I mean, you know. At one stage, I was the face of your company. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no, seriously, you don't understand, because that was, that advert airs the summer of going into year nine. Yeah. But obviously, because that's a different school for us. No one knew me, and the first week I yeah. kept getting bare, like strange looks, and I was like, "Why is everyone looking at me?" <laughs> That's the guy from the Picari's PC World. It, fully, because you remember, you remember Reece Seldon, didn't you? Yeah. He came up to me after a week, and when I think you think I've got the memory of like a fish <laughs> yeah. or something. I do know these yeah. people. Yeah, no, nah, but so Reece come up to me, and he goes, "Ross, were you in an advert?" <laughs> I, yeah, I was. Ross, you there's mean, someone that looks really, really like, like you in this Curry's PC World and advert. And he goes to me, um, "You're in a Curry's PC World advert." I know. Could I swear for this bit? Because it only has the same effect. Alfie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so he goes to me, you was in the Curry's PC World advert, weren't you? I said, yeah, how'd you know that? He goes, because you're the thumbs <laughs> up on every 30 second advert <laughs> on, right. you, on like YouTube and yeah. things. Because you can't skip them. So I remember. Just getting vexed at me. I remember the first time, because I think you knew. No, I remember, because yeah. I, I, obviously you didn't know when it was coming on. Whereas, I didn't know if it was going to come on. Whereas the casualty thing, which we'll come into a sec, was obviously yeah. planned. Whereas the yeah. Curry's piece, well, I wasn't prepared for it. So I remember just sitting there. And I, no, I wasn't even in the room. My sister was in the room. I mean, my sister goes, and it's, and it's quick. And then I remember pausing it and going back and just seeing you on the TV and thinking, I know Ross that has done well. Yeah. That's, that, that was quite no, cool. I remember that when I first saw it because the, um, the contract said, and there was obviously a big financial incentive for it to get aired. Yeah. Because they shot three adverts for that campaign and mm. only two got aired. Right. Um, the best two. But no, um, and it was like you get paid a certain amount of money mm. for the filming, for the, yeah. And if it airs, then you get paid ten times that amount. Yeah. Do, do you, so do you get paid more if it airs more? Um, Not really. If they, I think in the contract it said, if in the next thirty years they use the same advert again, which right. they obviously won't. No. Like at the end, I think they they gave me a period which I've been paid for, mm. and they said that if outside this period in the next thirty years we use the advert again, you get paid the same amount again. All right, um, that's good then. Yeah, it was quite good, but they obviously won't. But yeah. it was um, it was one of them. I didn't know if it was going to be aired, so I just said to my mum, "Look, it's a bit like the auditions. You'll go for like twenty auditions. If you're lucky, get one. Yeah. So you just you do it and then just put it out of your mind. Exactly. So, yeah. so I did the filming. And to be fair, like you'd be happy to do that advert even exactly. if you wasn't paid. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like you're on just TV. Have, yeah. But th- this is the issue. I didn't know if I was going to get on TV. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but um, I didn't know if I was going to get on TV but I just put it out of my mind thought right I'll take my money from the film and it was a good experience whatever I yeah. think I was watching WWE I was that young I still yeah. watched that and I just they went to like the, the commercial break yeah, the commercial. I, I was going to make myself like a cup of tea or something and then all I heard was the first line from the advert I went wait wait no way but, but you'd obviously seen it before on YouTube and that because no. you'd You'd never seen it. This was the thing. It was either it gets aired on everything or hidden from the world completely. Because I'm pretty sure I remember seeing it before that, like on Facebook or something, or, or you'd shared it. Maybe you saw it before me, and then the first yeah. time I saw it on TV was yeah. quite was quite big. Yeah. What What else have you done? Because you've done... So I did, before that, I was in... I don't really tell people this, because <laughs> it don't count. Right. But I, I did the Pride of Britain Awards. Yeah, yeah, no, this is what I was going to say. I don't know why that doesn't count, though. That's quite big. Pride of it was a little awards. reenactment. It was a little yeah. reenactment. That was cool though. I liked that. Yeah, I remember cool. your face going. What's your name in that, Max? Ben. Ben. Yeah. And, ben. He, and she goes, "Stay in the car, Ben." Yeah. I'm, <laughs> stay in the car, Ben. Yeah. Yeah. I remember and then that. That you've done. Then wait, can I that, get the Curry's PC? What, what was it called? They don't. They deleted it from YouTube. Why? I don't know. If you type in, there's a heart DJ remake. So if you type in like James and Becky. Do the Curry's PC World advert. It comes up. James. And James. Becky. 
and Becky. Do the Curry's PC World advert, do apparently. The Curry's PC World. I'm not sure why that advert. remains. <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah. You, you see me? Yeah. Hang on, I think. <laughs> Wait, how do I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Wait, I'm going to try and pause it on your face. Uh, I was about 12. Daniel, that's your name. Daniel. I've played a lot of different names. Oh, characters. you look so young. How do I show it on there? <laughs> oh, no! How do I, it's not in focus. Uh, How do I do, like, the... Uh, oh, it doesn't matter, but he's there, matter. so it doesn't really... You know, I was 12, I looked like a baby. Yeah. But yeah, so that was the Curry's piece of weather. And, and then you done that, Casualty. I had, a, I had a proper drought. And No, I didn't have a drought, I was in the West End before. Oh them. yeah, I, I forgot about that. I didn't write that down. Yeah. I went to see you in the West End. Yeah, you do you remember seeing me in the audience? I remember. Did you? I remember looking at you and going, Oh, it, did it you? It a bit at the end. Where oh yeah, because you, you wave anyway, to, didn't wave. you? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not <laughs> bleeping. Really, come on, you were bringing me on. Yeah, You're exactly. We're never not going to swear. Um, and then you've done Casualty. Then I've done Casualty. What would you say out of all of them is your favourite? Casualty. Casualty is my favourite. it's a proper TV show. Casualty is not my favourite that I've done. I know what you're gonna say. The recent one. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I'm just wait a sec. Wait. Go on. What? Right. So, the, so the newest thing I've done. Was... I was gonna speak about this after casualty. Well, we'll speak about casualty. No, so, we'll speak about casualty. what did? How did you get the casualty? Pardon? So casualty, just like all of them, it's just through my agent, mm. and she said, "Yeah, can you?" Because that's, that's on BBC, isn't it? Yeah, and that that was quite big even to audition for it. Yeah, the, so that had like, the biggest set and the most people. Yeah, and yeah, because they've got different sets. They're on location. It's bare. Yeah, but um, I went to the audition. And it was at the EastEnders set because they film EastEnders, you know, Boreham Wood. Don't know Boreham Wood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wood, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They film EastEnders in Boreham Wood and they film Holby City there as well. Mm-hmm. So I went there for the audition and I was just in a room with the casting director, the director, and the assistant director. Right. And, and that, they really liked that, you, didn't they? Well, yeah, but this is my thing. I thought I'd done the audition terribly. Right. So I come out and said to my mum, yeah, I'd be surprised to forget that. Literally the next day, my agent emailed me and went, yeah, you got it. Mm. Like, How oh, did you feel when I they... was buzzing. I was buzzing. There's, there's no better feeling than getting a part like yeah, that. Yeah, especially when so many people audition and you've actually been like... That is the thing, because you think so many people go yeah, for So exactly. many people. There's, There's no better one. feeling than getting one. Yeah, that's no yeah, That's pretty cool. Did you um? How, so how long did it? Was you there for a day? What the audition or the filming? The filming. The filming was ridiculous. Um, filming was in Cardiff, mm-hmm. but I went back and forth to Cardiff so many times because they went, oh, we need to do hair and makeup. We said, oh, okay, is that going to be in Boreham Woods? You oh, in Cardiff. You had a lot of makeup, didn't you? Yeah, because a lot of makeup. Yeah, I got burnt your, up. your scene was basically that you got blew up in a factory. Yeah, one of the scenes was yeah, I got well factory meth lab. Meth lab. <laughs> We'll say factory yeah, for the. Factory. It was a factory. It doesn't matter. It's anyway. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was all uh, reenactments. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> but no, yeah, the makeup. So they they dragged me to Cardiff for the whole day mm. just to try the makeup, and it was like it was an hour and a half of makeup every day to have it all put on. Jeez, it was mental. Yeah, that is. But then quite we a lot. did that. So we went to Cardiff, came back. That was all in a day, so it was a lot of travelling, and then. I then had to uh, go back up to Cardiff mm-hmm. and stayed there for two nights. Uh, put us up in like a five star hotel and everything. Oh. It was quality. Um, but five star hotels, overrated, man. You go downstairs, you get this breakfast buffet, yeah, full English breakfast, brilliant. But the water, you just can't get a normal cup of water and normal, like, PG tips. Yeah, and do you know what annoys me at buffets as well? Is that whatever water or juice is in the smallest cups ever yeah exactly it's like that much and you can't exactly drink it at yeah. the thing you have to go back to your table yeah, exactly. drink it and then just and then go just straight go back, back. Yeah, I ridiculous. like I just take four get four yeah you've got or it. just take my own but glass the, the water, for the water as well it was like it had like all fruit in it I thought oh that's quite nice I took a sip of it it tasted disgusting yeah. I went mum what is this did you guys me that's detox water it's for fat people trying to lose weight <laughs> it was awful but nah but we stayed there for three nights no two nights mm. came back and then went back the next week, because um, that was the day before prom. I oh. remember it was the day before prom. Good old prom. Yeah, man. But no, we went there, stayed the night, did the next day, so it was two more days, one more night, mm. stayed the night, did the next day, and that was, the next day was sick, because obviously, I had a stunt double to do the bit that was proper involved in yeah, the fire. Yeah, yeah. 
And he, that's it. No, I did a lot around the fire. Was there real fire? Real fire. Really? Slapped me in the yeah. face at one point. So it wasn't special effects or nothing? No, I thought it would be. No one told me there was going to be real fire. It was about 30 <laughs> seconds before they go, yeah, just lie in that corner there and we'll set fire to this by your head, this by your feet, this right by your back. I but like, I suppose they know what they're doing, don't they? So, yeah, they know what you're doing, but I don't. That was my problem. I thought, you know. I always imagine like... Do I, I mean, I don't know if it's different for a TV show than a film or whatever, but do you get bossed around a bit or not really? Is everyone quite nice? Or is it like, you go there, right, can we change? You know, you go over yeah, there. No, I want it more. Do you know what I mean? There's like, a bit of that. It's a, it's a strange one. During the rehearsals, I think as an actor, you're actually quite low stressed. Yeah. But working, so f- say the camera like guys. Like runners and that. Yeah, the camera yeah. guys and the runners and the chaperones and the makeup artists. Right, can we get makeup in here? Just do, yeah, do a bit exactly. there. They were the ones that got a lot of that. But as an actor, I think because you can get so many actors that are proper lot up themselves. Yeah, They're yeah, really yeah. nice to you. And my thing is, I'm, I'm there thinking, man, you don't have to be this nice to me. But yeah, they, they yeah. were being really nice to me and everything. It was, I think there was only one time where there was um, some kind of shouting at me. Or well, not shouted at me, but like shouted about me almost. Oh. So went, right, can we have the actors to set, please? And I just gone around the corner um. for a drink of water and sit down. And then it took me literally five seconds to get there. Yeah. But three seconds after she said it, the other two people in my scene were there. She goes, right, two out of three is not bad. Where's Ross? <laughs> I went, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Ran through the Should door. Have slapped her up, mate. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> no, not, not quite the impression. Yeah, probably no. not great. I remember so, I did that with a uh, Nancy Carter from EastEnders. Very good. That's quite. That, I don't know who fame. that is, but I'm... my clan's fame man. She played Danny Dyer's daughter. Oh yeah, my, yeah, my yeah. clan's yeah, fame probably. man. Nancy Car- Nancy Carter has given me a nipple cripple. What's a nipple cripple? Like that's when what? you twist a nipple. Pitch a nipple. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's sexual assault or whether that's. Yeah. Is that? Is it that... weren't great. Right. <laughs> no, but the thing was, it weren't with her hand properly either. She did it twice. Once with like a, a doctor's clip. Right. You want clip to my nipple. Oh, all oh, right. Sorry. This hand. isn't. This isn't just. This isn't just. No, this isn't just randomly. Right. Nancy <laughs> thought, Carter came up right. to me and nipple crippled me in the street. Oh, no, right. she. She's now in casualty. All right. Fair enough. That's good then. introduce it again right um hi guys welcome back to are you being sarcastic podcast i'm here with ross this is actually our second time doing this because we um wait has this us started yeah we've started, oh, we've started. <laughs> yeah. um, this is our second time because we um we don't bring us into this we, <laughs> we... <laughs> i i messed up basically i wasn't recording on the on the microphones ross turn your phone <laughs> off <laughs> no Right, bit of context, okay. This happened last time as no. well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> right, Russ, turn your phone off. Yeah. <laughs> or, or you have to Sorry. at least if you have if you if you have your phone yeah, on, you no. have to read it out. That's Sorry. the rule. How about <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you have to read it out. <laughs> <laughs> right, this isn't gonna make any sense. Right, come on, can we just? You have to do the bleep bit here. You have to do the, you know, where it's like, beep, and then start again. Right. Welcome back to Are You Being Sarcastic podcast. <laughs> Ross, pull yourself together. Oh, fine. <laughs> Look at what he's saying. I'm going to have to read it out. <laughs> right. 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 Okay. Right. (laughs) 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 If I'm meant from his boss. (laughs) 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 Oh, that's the best thing ever. I'm so glad that happened. Right. (laughs) Can we? Can we? Can we actually? Right. <laughs> yeah, she's have us for crazy. Are you being sarcastic?